Noonie the Cat's Wish by Victoria Adler Sharon. Dedicated to our friends Terry the dog and Noonie the cat, our beloved four legged friends who have been with us for 18 years. It was a festive morning. Nana, the beautiful cat, had delivered five adorable tiny kittens. She was very excited, and everyone gathered around her, happy and cheering. The sun in the sky smiled wildly and shined over the trees and flowers. The birds released balloons in a variety of colors, and only Nuni, the white cat, meowed sadly. He neither touched the red tuna nor licked his body, as cats usually do. He also wanted to have kittens and be the center of attention, as everyone fusses around him, shows concern, and takes interest in him. Nuni climbed the tree in quick leaps and announced out loud, My wish is to have kittens just like Nana, my friend, but I can't. Maybe you know what should I do? The yellow parrot responded from afar, Go forth into the wide world and ask the experts. Terry, the black dog, barked, but promised to come back home soon. Rocky, the gray cat, pouted. Gooly, the black cat, rolled on the floor. Mitzi, the spotted cat, hugged and kissed him farewell, while Kitsy, the brown cat, packed him food for the long journey. I don't know anything about wishes, she said, but I want to make sure you have good, tasty, comfort food for your journey. Only the fish in the pond kept swimming from one side to another, kept silent as usual. Nuni arched his back and leaped on a tow truck headed towards the port. After several hours, the truck stopped in the middle of the desert for a brief break. Nuni climbed over a pile of crates and suddenly found himself facing a male and female camel. What special creatures, Nuni thought. Their neck is so long. Perhaps they can reach the answer in the heavens and drag it down for me. He turned to the camels. I have a wish. I want to have kittens, but I can't. Do you perhaps know what should I do? Not now. We're tired, the camels replied. We traveled a long, long way through the desert without food or water. And so they shut their eyes where they stood. Nuni was very disappointed with the camel's reply. Nuni jumped back onto the truck that continued driving until it reached the pier facing the Red Sea. The truck's tires stopped with a screech, and Nuni thanked the driver and hopped on board a ship docked nearby. He had arrived just in time to join a voyage far to the other side of the world. Nuni was extremely excited his heart pounding at the rhythm of the great whale songs, whistles, and clicks. But every time he tried to wave at them, they dove down into the ocean and disappeared. The ship sailed for many days until it arrived at the continent of Africa. Nuni hopped down to the beach in great leaps. He noticed from the distance a large herd of zebras that looked like little horses with black on white stripes. He hid behind the bushes and counted the stripes. One, two, five, nine. Finally, he approached them and asked out loud, I have a wish. I want to have kittens, but I can't. Do you perhaps know what should I do? The zebras glanced at each other and replied, We have two wishes of our own. The first, to escape the lions, the second to confuse the flies and mosquitoes using our stripes. Nuni blinked his eyes, furrowed his brows, and wondered, 
Is everyone interested in nothing but their own wishes? After this confusing answer, Nuni noticed a thicket of bushes and next to them a pride of lions. The zebras fled the lion pride in great panic, but Nuni cautiously approached the large cats. I will surely receive a royal answer from them, he told himself. The king of the animals sat still and locked his gaze on Nuni as soon as he saw him. Nuni mustered his courage and whispered, I have a wish. I wish to have kittens, but I can't. Perhaps you know what should I do? The lion just continued indifferently, staring at him as the lioness, who sat beside him, protecting her cubs, came to his aid. Everyone has their own wish, she said. My wish, for example, is to go out into the great world and have many adventures. But I have no time for that, because I must care for my own tiny cubs. But I am willing to grant you my wish. Thank you, replied Nuni, and quickly walked away. Should I change my wish? he wondered. Nuni began feeling hungry and knelt over the river banks, where big and small fish lazily swam. After a brief hesitation, he leaped into the water and caught a fish. Suddenly, his ears picked up on some rustling leaves. He noticed a herd of long-necked and legged giraffes. They meant to graze on branches and leaves from the tree canopies. The giraffes approached him, looking down at him, and asked, What are you doing here, white cat? Nuni gulped down his fish and replied, I have a wish. I wish to have kittens, but I can't. Perhaps you know what should I do? A wish? The giraffes asked, amused. Care to explain? Nuni was embarrassed, but after mulling it over, he replied, A wish is a request to work wonders. The giraffes opened their eyes wide and declared, Then we too have a wish, to be protected from hunters and predators. Nuni was glad he had helped the giraffes discover their own wish. He only wondered, how does one protect oneself from hunters and predators? Noon came, and the sun had risen behind the trees, gently stroking the monkeys leaping from tree to tree, feasting on fruit and grunting at the top of their lungs. One beautiful female monkey approached Nuni and told him, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. You're my hero. You have the courage to travel far just to accomplish your wish. I wish you success. Nuni was happy and thought to himself, Will these compliments help me understand what I should do? After talking with the monkey, Nuni was filled with confidence and broke out in a sprint. Nuni reached an elephant herd eating right off the trees. Suddenly, he felt a slight breeze and saw above him a massive elephant flapping her huge ears. The elephant's long trunk sprinkled him with tiny water drops and lifted him high into the sky, blowing like a trumpet. Nuni found himself hanging between heaven and earth. He felt he was in danger, but he would not give up. Dear Elephant, I have heard that you have an excellent memory and special powers. Please fulfill my wish and teach me how to have kittens. The wise Elephant lowered Nuni to the ground, and all the elephants replied in chorus, You don't need us to fulfill your wish. The answer is in your heart. Wow, thought Nuni to himself. Do elephants have secret knowledge? A flock of storks suddenly drew Nuni's attention. They were resting after a long journey and clicking with their beaks. Nuni silently approached them, not to scare them, and said politely, I have a wish. I wish to have kittens, but I can't. Perhaps you know what should I do? 
the storks exchanged mysterious glances and replied, We can help you. We have a special gift that would work wonders. And they drew close and whispered a secret in his ear. Thank you, storks, cried out Nuni and Joy, and broke out in a joyful dance. Suddenly, a miracle happened, just as the storks had promised. Nuni felt the answer in his heart. I know, I know who I am. I am Nuni. I am happy with who I am, and I don't need to fulfill this wish to have kittens like Nana. It is good and right for me to be myself, because I am who I am, and that is just perfect for me. Nuni returned to the ship and began the long journey home. He was happy to return to his friends, as he had promised. The sailors cheered him on, and Nuni bowed to them. This time the great whales blew him a kiss farewell. The ship's horn honked as it sailed off on its way with one very happy cat on deck.